Hello English learners, welcome back to my channel. This is Ma'am Raya. For today's video lesson, we're going to have another discussion for our practical research one, and we will focus on the research sampling. This is another lesson that will benefit my grade 11 students, and hopefully will help them in their review for their finals. So good luck. So here it is. So here, um, for the research sampling, okay, we're going to define it first so we have here it is a process through which a researcher selects a portion or a segment from the population that's at the center of the researcher's study so when we say sampling magkuha ra gyud usa siya ka proseso no nga uh, ang researcher magkuha kuno og portion lang sa imuhang pangita nga population sa imuhang conduct nga study okay and we have here it is it lets researchers save money by encouraging them to get the same responses from a survey as they will form or as they will from the whole population so makatipid daw ang mga researchers it is used to determine to determine how much data should be collected and how often it should be collected so mao na siya gitagaan o ganang emphasis ang buhaton sa usa ka researcher sa ilahang gi-conduct nga study unsa on nila pagkuha uh, sa sample population or sa ilahang population so basically from the terms i mentioned about sample populations uh, some yes since it's sampling we'll get to know more of the words that we will be using here in our discussion okay so here we have the word population it is a group of persons or objects that possess some common characteristics that interest the researcher. Um, sa imong pagsugod o conduct sa study, for sure no na kay mga focus or intended nga population. So, nga nung imuhanis, um, gusto ka pangitaan o solution or naa kay nakitaan nga problema, ani nga group or ani nga population. Okay, so nanaka dito naka-focus na daan. Pero ang population, again we say ha, a group of persons. So daghan jud sila actually. So mo na nga okay, we have here two groups of population. Okay, we have target population and also accessible population. Okay, unsa man ang kalahian sa duha? Okay, we have here target population. It's composed of the entire group of people or subjects to which the researcher wishes to generalize the findings of the study. So, target population, it is the entire group of people. Huh? So, ikaw nag, um, since um, most of the researchers I handle is humanities or HUM, so, ilaha kay mga lived experiences sa mga um, gipang, uh, sana ka na, sitwasyon sa mga tao or gibuhat sa mga tao. So, nag-wonder yun sila, or they are very curious about how do people with disabilities um, experience maybe discrimination, okay? So, ang ilang entire uh, group or ilang target population are those um, PWD or persons with disabilities. But since um, ang PWD is a very kanang wide scope siya, no? So, pwede pag yun mo siyang a kana is subtopic or is subgroup so asa man ka dapita sa uh, PWD mo focus pwede man ka sa um, kanang sa buta o sige, sa blind or sa mga bungol or sa kanang physically handicapped so ana para mas uh, imo pa jud ma koan or maka focus pa jud kagisa so target population here, accessible population, it is a portion of the population to which the researcher has reasonable access. So, since nga, ang imuang study, ganahan ka nga, unsa nga discrimination, ang ako ang gusto i, itabang yun ang mga PWD. Asa na ko dapita mag-focus? So, basin di ay sa mga physically disabled, mas daghan sila og mga discrimination. So, add to lang ko, okay, portion of the population to which the researcher has reasonable access. So, kaning sa physically disabled, asa man kumangita nga mas dali. Okay, so, ang portion raha sa population ng imong ipangita. Uh, pero may kumakakitaan ni, nila diri sa koan, sa simbahan, okay, nga mang, manglimos. Okay, unsa di ay, nga nung daghan ba uh, sa mga physically disabled, okay, ang nanglimos na lang, um, how are they treated by the ordinary people too. Ok. 
Okay, so those are the two, ha? Huh? Okay, so say for example, okay, well, we're talking about the population na, so, unsa din siya ka-importante sa ato ang uh, sampling. So, of course, ato ang study. I hope, uh, naka, kung ano mo, no? nakaka-catch up mo. Okay, here in a sample example, okay, we have a, in, an example situation. In a study about the common difficulties encountered by senior high school students in their first semester of the school year 2016-2017, the target population may be all senior high school students in Metro Manila. However, the researcher may have access only to the students of a specific school. These students compromise the accessible population. Okay, so ganahan ka. Uh, I'm wrong st study ng focus sa mga uh, difficulties, mga kalisod nga naman nagian sa mga senior high school students. And there naman sa example na to kay sa Metro Manila. No? So how about mo anak nga sa Mandawi City? Okay. Pero daghan ka ayog eskwelahan ang Mandawi City. Maybe more, more than 15. Okay, so um uns as ah, ay mo din ko anang katong 15 ka book or more than 15 nga school. So syempre mo focus la posible ka nga mo focus og usa ka eskwelahan which will be your accessible population. So kung asa ka nga school nga mas uh, na na locate so accessible ta sa mo ha. So pwede man ka pangutan on sa imong panelist nganong kani man imong uh, as researchers nga nung mo na inyong gipili nga um, population or sample population so pwede dyan kami nga it's the most accessible to um, the researchers so okay na dyan siya okay that's the population so here researchers commonly select samples for study rather than entire population okay so samples ra yun ha so dili yun so may yung tag population like the big group may yung tag sample nagkuha lang ka og portion ato nga population okay para klaro due to constraints in budget time and manpower okay a good sample should be representative of the population such that the characteristics of the population especially those pertinent to the study are reflected in the sample with fair amount of accuracy so ang imong information nga to dapat accurate gihapon okay so uh, imo man ang isuwat na to sa methodology sa chapter 3 ni mga part okay so methodology there okay so here let's go to the next um, next slide okay and it's quite loading here um, I'd like to shout out my students who are um, studying and reviewing for their lessons so hopefully you can um, do it by tomorrow good luck so far okay wait I hope Okay, here we go. Let's try this one. Okay, just a quick check here about population. Mm -hmm. If the school has 200 students, which of the statement can be true? Mm -hmm. So, 200 students ang nasa school, ha? Okay, asa man ani yeah, choices ang tinuod. Okay, the population is 200. The sample can include 220 students from the school. Asking a sample will be faster than asking the population. Okay, asa ani nga tulo tinuod about uh, getting a sample population. So, you guys can also think of your answer. So, here, okay, we got the answers. So, which one is true? So, both of these, okay. The population is 200. Okay, why is that? Uh, the total number of students is the population. Okay, ang tibuok, for example, ang tibuok, kompre. Okay, so, Dako man jud kaysa na na. So, dili pwede na mo makakuha ta na. So, magkuha rin siya portion. So, mo nang so, mafocus ka. Uh, so, for example, senior high school students. So, dako yapon siya nga portion. Okay, probably there are more than thousands okay, may, sa inyo ang school. Kung gamay ra, okay ra. Pero kung daghan ka, big school mo. So, mo nang portion na. So, mafocus siya ka nga. Ah, okay, grade 11 lang ang mga... Um, mga kalisod nga naagian sa mga grade 11 students. Ani nga specific school. Okay, another true is asking a sample will be faster than asking the population. Since the size is smaller, it saves time to ask just the sample. Mm -hmm. 
so on so additional info we have here so using a sample instead of the population is also more cost effective and easier to process mas madali po nang himuha ang research especially imuha mo po nang i-mention nga to sa um, yes also in your chapter 3 um, for how long are you going to have or to conduct the study so asa o oh, mga time uh, butangan man sa nanimog timeline nga to okay for the second semester uh, for the school year 2023 to 2024 okay so here let's try this one too how would you select a sample from the 200 students in your school to de de determine their most loved and liked subject ah oh, so na yung mga favoritism na subject okay so sometimes um choosing the loved or liked subject is also matters as to who the teacher is sakto <laughs> Okay, here the sampling, the process of getting samples from the population. Okay, so, so on, um, 200 students ha, yeah, determine their most unloved like subject. So, maybe so from that 200, so are lang kasat 100, or imo pujun ng pa gyam yan, because it's like too many. Okay, so mo focus lang ka baron sa usaka strand. Okay, so butanta lang sa, sa stem strand. Okay, kinsa ang, okay, their most. Okay, loved or liked subject. Okay, another word that we will be also engaging here in our discussion is the subjects or the respondents. Okay, these are the individual participants in the study. Pwede nila la ilahe ah, so may intag subjects, may intag si respondents. Mura po siya kanang relationship ni population o ni sample ba? Okay, so we'll get to know them. So, so si subjects, okay, these are the individuals or entities which serve as the focus of the study. Okay, population. Respondents, these are the individuals or groups of people who actively serve as sources of information during the data collection. Okay, so morag mauna ni sila imuhang sample. Sila na imong gikwaan sa imuhang um, katong responses ni mo katong imuang mga questionnaire sila na imong posible nga interview hun kay ana si anda ting kay i hope that's clear kay napatas mga 45 slides diri okay take note um, the subjects of a study may also be its respondents so possibly no ang katong mga subjects ni mo mo puto imong respondents but there are also times that these are two groups of different individuals or entities. Okay, so na ay mga times nga lahi lahi, lahi si subject, lahi po si respondents. Okay, actually they can also be materials, they can be things. Okay, mm, so he referred to as elements, particularly if uh, said elements are, pro are objects rather than people. So mana magkalahi yun si subject or si respondents. Okay, so let's take this for example. A study focused on the behavior of students who belong to broken families. Familiar ang uh, title no na ay mga estudyante nga nagconduct aning study. Okay, here. The students who belong to these families are the subjects of the study. Broken, okay? The students who belong to the broken families, which may also be the respondents. The researcher seeks to interview directly. Okay. So, of course, kito to ang ilang pangitaon nga interview hun katong mga estudyante nga um, broken family okay, or part of the broken family. Okay. So, dagan sila makita na na actually. Okay, another, if the researcher interviews or surveys the classmates of these students, the students remain the subjects and the classmates become the respondents. Mm. Okay, so nakita to na to ganing na no nga kung, ni, kung ang researcher ni, ni directa o pangotana or gi-interview nila dirit so ang katong mga estudyante nga part sa broken family so mo to ilahang mga respondents pero si researcher nag-interview o nga gi-surveyhan ang katong mga classmate at nga mga estudyante nga part or member sa broken family so therefore Ang katong mga classmates niya mo na yung respondents kaya mo umay ni to bug sa ilahang interview questions. Okay, naklaro? So anak siya ang dating. Mm, wala man nila gi-interview actually ang katong mga 
um, estudyanteng uh, part sa Broken Family, ang ilang interview kay ang classmates, siguro nung utana sila nga, kumusta man ang inyong mga classmates, na ba sila na agian na ni, dili directly gato sa um, estudyante. So, ano siya ang kalahian. Okay, another terms that we will have okay, to understand here in our discussion, the words statistics and parameter. Okay, statistics, okay, they are actually both numbers. Okay, a number describing a property of a sample, so that's statistics. Parameter here is a number describing a property of a population. So, ang parameter, mura siya gamiton sa tibuok population. Okay, mm, dako man siya nga uh, scope. So, sub uh, subgroup or subtopic man ang ato ang ano sample okay so na, again ang sample no gikan ra man nagkuha gikan sa dako nga population so same as the statistics ang parameter sa dako ang statistics para sa sample lang so gamay ra okay and most likely since we were talking about numbers uh, must use siya sa quantitative but na apoy qualitative nga kinahanglan gamitan or gina, gamitan jud statistics Okay. A statistic can be used to estimate the parameter in what is called statistical inference. Okay, so pwede na siya inan, ha? Okay, example here. A researcher examining all marriages in the Philippines in 2016 wants to find a particular parameter, the mean age of all the men in those marriages. So, uh, at least na siya focus, no? Ang katong 2016, uh, married men okay i think yeah, married men and ihang gustong uh, maki, uh, mak, ihang gustong kuhaon kung unsa ang average age sa mga lalaki nga nagminyo like pag 2016 okay so let's okay, have the next slide so from a sample of 1000 subjects she obtains the researcher obtains a sample mean of 31 years 31 years old huh, for the male a married couple, married men. This figure is a statistic. Okay, we're talking about numbers. Using this figure, uh, the researcher concludes that the mean age of Filipino men who married in 2016 is likely to be close to 31 as well. So, mao na yun na, ano nakuha niya ang 31. Okay, so, ano siya, no? So, mao na, labad yung kayo ang statistics. <laughs> Okay, so here, factors to consider in determining the sample size. So, we have the homogeneity of the population. Okay, the higher the degree of homogeneity of the population, the smaller the sample size that can be utilized. So, mas daghan kuno ang, ang homogeneity or sila, mas daghan ang mga, for example, yeah, you're going to get, kaya wala man sa katong married, married people in the Philippines, wala man yung panan married pero wala ni mo give specify nga to kung ang sa pila ka buklalaki ang imuhang sa population so mo na ang inikuha ni mo sa sample size okay uh, it will be easier for you to get the um, sample size it will be smaller lang okay another factor we have here is the degree of precision desired by the researcher the larger the sample size the higher the precision or accuracy of the results will be Okay, so, kung mas daghan po din mo sample size, mas um, accurate po din mo hang um, responses or mo hang, uh, you, of course, we can also have that one in the credibility of our data. Okay, especially, mo anak ka nung at 10, ganong 10 man mo hang respondents, ani, ganong 10 man mong participants. Okay, kaysa um, less than 10. So, mag less than 10 siguro ka na if um, sa case study nga design. Okay, sa research design nga case study. Yeah, you can have less than 10 for that. Okay, but if you're going to have phenomenological, so maybe 10 is the minimum. Okay, here. Another factor is the types of sampling procedure. Mm, so, sampling procedure mo matter good siya. Okay, so probability sampling uses smaller sample sizes than non-probability sampling. In your proposal, pang tanong jud mo sa inyong panelist no on sa man ang sampling procedure or what research sampling are you using? Kay maka-determine pud siya kung unsa ano ninyo pagkuha ang inyong respondents and how are you going to have a reliable uh, data gathering. Mm, so ana siya ka importante. Okay, here. 
uh, a sample must represent the entire population. A sample must not be biased. Okay, here, this means that all members have an equal chance of being selected. Mm -hmm. So, sampling technique ni siya. So, um, all, all, uh, I mean, uh, all members have an equal chance of being selected. This is why choosing the appropriate technique is important. Okay, so, unsag yun ay muhang gichoose. Ganun kaniman, pagkutanon man kanan nila. So, here we will discuss the two types and subtypes of sampling. There are two types of sampling. So, the first one is the probability sampling. And we do have three or four subtypes of the probability sampling. I will just have maybe an overview, not really the specific discussion. No? At least lang na mo'y makuha sa inyong review okay, for tomorrow. So, probability sampling, all the members of an entire population have a chance of being selected. So, take for example, kani sila nalang, laing nga grupo, bisan kinsa, bisan asaan na nila. Okay, wala kay pili, basta naara na nila. So, any PWD in Mandawi City, basta kay, mauna sila. Okay, mauna siya ang sa probability sampling. Okay, so under the probability sampling, okay, the subtype is what we call a stratified random sampling. Okay, for stratified random sampling, uh, it is dividing the sample into subgroups before drawing random samples. So, maunis siya no, ang usa ang tibuok ka population. So, iya din siya ang uh, subgroup niya. So, pwede ni siya nga, kani ang PWD, so tanan ni sila PWD sa Mandawe. Kani siya PWD sa Kasuntingan, PWD sa Luok, PWD sa Mantuyong. So, ginanan niya pag subgroup. So, so, here, the total number, for example, and then, a proportional number. Ang population is 200. So, example ha, maunis siya ang 200 ka population. Ang sample nga ay ang gikuha kay 600 lang. Giunsa niya pag guha ang 6, 600, sorry, 60, 200 rin ang population. So, from the 200 population, ang gikuha rin niya nga sample is 60. So, nakasave siya kao time, nakasave time consuming, oh, okay, nakasave siya time, nakasave siya og budget, cost effective siya. Okay, so 60 over 200 ang imuhang sample population. So, kung giunsan na nimo sila pag guha, so maunis siya ang style. So, gikan sa 9 plus 9, 12 plus 9, 9, 12. Okay, so, through, by year, yung level. So, ako, okay, by city man to na ako. No? So, sa Osaka City, pili mo gikuha nga total number. Okay. So, pwede ragyo din yung i-review no? sa so, uban. <laughs> Kung lang gidali, kay mag, layo, layo, pa kata nga slide. Another uh, probability sampling here is systematic sampling. It is selecting one member for every ninth or nth of the population. So, for example, um, the 200 students' names may be listed alphabetically, then every third student will be part of the sample. Okay, so muna no, mga ayo ang schoolhan sa master list sa kada classroom. Uh, I-arrange alphabetically. Tana, naka-arrange na alphabetically. Okay, without the sectioning. Nya, yeah, mo to siya. O, oh, every third. So, one, two, three. So, kanis siya ako, siyang i-appeal sa ako ang sampling and another. So, I it means um, 3, 6, 9, okay, 12, 15. So, moto siya ang mga, mga students. Mo akong kuhaan or mo akong gamitin nga sample. Mo na siya gitawag og systematic sampling. Na ay system. Okay. Pwede na siya every first or every second. Okay. So, there was a time nga ipangayuan mi og data sa kinsa mo ang posible nga um, patuon sa eskulahan. So, ah, okay. Asa man mi mga yung mangita o sample? So, ano na muha? Naglibog mi. So, pwede mi muhatag sa the first 15. Okay, or the last 15 in the class. So, ano siya? May, mga utahan naman dyan na, ma'am, giyon saan yung pagpili ang mga sudyante? Anong siya na appeal? Anong ako wala? So, na dyan kay katubag. Ah, mao, naginadinira na ako para mas dali. So, dili. Ah, na ah, may favoritism si mama. So, na ay system nga gifollow. Okay, systematic sampling. Another here, okay, so ako siyang ginani, okay, at least, um, ang convenience sampling is actually for the non-probability sampling. The third uh, subtype of the probability sam sampling here is the single random, simple, sorry, simple random sampling. Okay, here, for every uh, population, for every uh, participant or 
a respondent is equal to 10 students and the sample size must be 60. Inspect how each technique can be used. So example here, focus lang sa tadariha. We will discuss that one under the non-probability. Uh, for simple random sampling, the sample is chosen randomly, providing equal chances for all members. Okay, so, walay hard feelings. Okay, it's fairness and equality. Nasabtan ra akong i-discuss ganin na. Okay, let's try this one. Let's practice. O, mura na sa taga-review ha. Okay, identify the sampling technique used in each scenario. Okay, first one. Every tenth person boarding a plane was given a questionnaire. Kani mahadlok sa gani so na part nga ma excite kano kung musa kay kagaruplano kay every first passenger will have uh, a gift oh, so ganahan ka na first uh, naasa na sa mo ang kada seminar so every first person nga maabot okay very um, very early okay, the early bird will receive a gift so here ha huh, tagan ko questionnaire okay so another situation or scenario all the names of the parents were placed in a basket then 20 were selected to join the activ activity. Another scenario, the first 20 people who passed by were chosen to review the taste of the chocolate bar. So, unsang mani nga mga sampling technique based sa ato ang gi-explain ganina. Mm, do you have your answers? Okay, can I reveal now the answers? Okay, we have here, okay, I hope you also got it right. So every tenth person, that's about stratification. Okay, the names of the parents were placed in a basket, and then twenty were selected. That's simple random. Okay, um, convenient sampling here. The first twenty people who passed by were chosen to review the taste of the chocolate bar. Wag mm, nakasabot na gamay. Okay, wala patat. No man na. First pa man to. Another type of sampling here is the non-probability sampling. Okay, for non-probability, it is a process of selecting respondents in which not all members of the entire population are given a chance of being selected as samples. So, lahi siya sa katong probability no, in which everyone has the chance um, to be selected. Okay, so um, we have here okay, different subtypes for non-probability. Convenience sampling. Okay, it is also called accidental or incidental sampling. Okay, so how it's done? Okay, so ato nang ipakita ganin na sa, non sa probability. So here for the convenience sampling, the sample was selected as the first listed group. The technique was chosen for its simplicity. So the, the, sam uh, the first listed lang. So kinsa tong una? Ah, okay. So the first 10, um, I think na ani sa mga raffle or sa kanang ang saman magpalista no o magpalista sa ayuda so ang first 10 mo ay makadawat og 10 kilos of rice and then atong 11 to 5, 11 to 20 kay tag 5 kilos of rice na lang sila uh, convenient sampling okay so here for convenient sampling a researcher intends to study the elementary students of a particular school and has determined the desired sample size Due to the study's constraints, the elementary pupils who are present at that time of the researcher's visit to the school will be chosen as the respondents. Okay, sa katurang na, ah, na usay man gunay absent, so dili na gito sila apilon. So, kinsa lang ang available. Convenient sampling. Okay, that's the example um, way ha sa pagsuwat sa imuhang convenient sampling imong gigamit. Another non-probability sampling here is the quota sampling. This is similar to stratified sampling. The population is divided into strata and the researcher deliberately sets specific pre proportions in the sample. So, magkuha yapon siya. So, kinsaman. So, here, example. Okay, maunin siya ang example sa quota sampling. A researcher wants to survey the employees of a company regarding their thoughts on the company's new policies. The researcher intends to have representatives from all departments in his sample. But one department is so small that doing random sampling might result in that department not being represented. 
The researcher then sets a coda of respondents from that department to ensure their inclusion in the sample. Okay, so iha dyan gi-explain no, anong nag-quota sampling siya. Okay, anong dili siya o oh, wala siya naggamit sa katong um, kay random. Okay, so kay tungod kay gamay ra sila na hitabo, posible nga dili makuha tanan nga department or na ay represent, representative kada department. So, na hitabo ni usually sa situation na mo as teachers ka ng I reading of forms. Since I'm pinakadagan ng strand kay Yums, kay Lima man mi. So there is really a greater chance or possibility nga mas daghang representative makuha sa mga Yums class advisors para sa reading of forms. Okay, so ano na hitabo or sa TVL? Okay, sa strand. Okay. So kung kisa tayo pinakagamay, so lesser chances nga makuha. Kana kung um, bati ang, ang study or I mean ang situation, pero kung um, nangita og nangita og representative para sa house and lot mali pa jud ka adagan king makuha ani sa yums kay dagan kay may mga class advisors sa yums kuno okay magdepende jud kay here for purposive sampling for non probability kay it involves hand picking uh, subjects usually to suit the very specific intentions also called judgmental sampling i have heard this from uh, some studies kay purposive sampling ilang gigamit Especially, I think this is very relatable kung uh, case study mo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Handpicking of the subject. Kani, mo dyan niya mong gikuan ma'am kay. Sila jud. Okay, na na mo eh. Uh, participants yun ba? Okay. It's also called judgmental sampling. Okay. There is really a purpose na nung sila to inyo hanggi pili. Okay. So, example sa purposive sampling. In a study about honor students, the researcher uses a list of honor students and chooses the necessary number of respondents to the to the exclusion of all other students. So, mga honor students, ragyun ma'am, wala to labot ang katong uh, below, I mean, below 90. So, 90 above ra mo ang honor students. Okay. So, um, asa dyan mo magkwa? So, with the highest honors or katobang with the kuan lang with high honors ra. So to uh, how to say <laughs> ato alang i wrap up ang tanan so this is we this is the thing that we really need to remember okay, in our sampling in selecting the sample of a study the following elements must be properly discussed so sa inyo ha methodology inyo jung i explain the total population and its parameters the sample and its statistics the sampling method with references to support it an explanation and discussion of the sampling method, an explanation of how the sampling was done, an enumeration of the qualifying criteria and the profiles of the subjects and or respondents. Mm -hmm. I hope that's clear. Okay, so that's it for uh, this lesson. I hope uh, you learn from something from this. So enjoy and uh, good luck for your exam tomorrow. So enjoy learning. Goodbye, my dear Englishers.